Hi everyone. Thank you for coming to watch a video at my channel, Diana Loves Colors. Uh, so today I'm going to be doing another project share um, with the items I received from BB Craft. And they are an online web store where you can purchase so many crafty things. They have metal dies and stamps, um, paint, jewelry making supplies, stencils, um, embossing folders, just so many different things. You will love their website and their prices. So you can also use my discount code Diana10 um, on any order. So today I'm going to be making some embellishments using the 100 pack of brads that I got. And these come in so many different images and colors. You'll have a ball just picking through here, looking for things to match your project. So you get a hundred pieces. Now I am in their YouTube program, which means I get to pick out merchandise and bring it uh, delivered to my house and get to craft with it and keep it. Uh, and you can be in their YouTube program too. Uh, if you have a hundred subscribers in your crafty channel, so I'll put the link for that. Um, these brads that I'm using, uh, and the other things I got from BB craft in that description box, as well as their website. So using these brads, I thought I would make some embellishments, like I said, and I had this flower die that I recently hauled, so I wanted to use this. So I went ahead and made a bunch of flowers um, using different uh, colored autumn paper that I had. I wanted them to be like fall-like. So those are the papers that I chose, but... You know me, I always have to put a little bling in everything. So there's some um, gold uh, paper and some with uh, gold foiling. So the first thing I did was glue all of the petals together. Um, I don't think you need me to explain that. And I did curl up the edges here just a little bit with my paintbrush the end of my paintbrush I should say and this is the first time I've ever made flowers so that's how that happened um, I know there's probably different a lot of different ways a lot of different dyes to make them but this is my first flower dye so I glued them all together and I also cut out the leaves that go to that so I'm gonna put the leaves on right now but first I discovered that it's easier to punch a hole in the middle of your flowers so that uh, you can get the brad in. So try to go into the middle as much as you can. And there we go. We have a hole. All right. So the next thing I did was choose some ribbons and lace that I wanted to work with. So we have some with polka dots. There's some orange there. We have some ribbon with some owls and gnomes, uh, some lace, some tulle, and some other tulle. So first I'm going to glue our leaves on, which you probably don't need to see me do that either but we'll go through it here are our leaves and you can put more leaves on if you choose to i wonder what that would look like with another leaf i don't know no we'll leave it like that for now so i love this pretty tool here I also love this tool that has the leaves on it. And I just cut out sections of this. I think we're going to go with this, though, because it matches that um, glitter, 
Twitter, uh, da da da, what's it called? So I think I'm going to go with uh, this tool. Oops, one piece. That tool and this lace. I have been trying to get through, use up some of this lace that I got at the thrift shop. I have a whole entire bag of it. And I have been using it, but it doesn't seem like it's going down any. Because you only use a very little bit at a time. So should we put the lace on top of the tool? Sure, why not? So I also found it's easier for me, instead of trying to jab uh, a pokey tool or something through here to make a hole, uh, I just snip a little hole somewhere in the middle. with my little scissors and you will not even know that it's there and then for me it was also easier instead of waiting for the glue to dry to just staple these together and again you are not going to see that so now we have to choose a brad so there's so many different colors, and of course they all want to go upside down when I show them to you. There's a little flower with the green. That one. We have some little orange flowers. That orange flower. That little design with orange and those. And I like the butterfly. I think we're going to use the butterfly. So you just put your brad through your flower. And you want to make sure that your flower is going the right way before you glue it. But we're going to stick it through the little hole here also. So then it's through everything. And we're just going to push the little ends down like that. So let's make sure that the butterfly is straight and everything's straight before we flip it over. And I, oh, and I have to wait for my glue gun to heat up. So while we're waiting, let's make another one. Let's use the leaves this time. And that lace. And three layers. Oh my, is she crazy? Yeah, a little bit. Let's see how that works out. So here's a flower. I already have a hole in it. Punched in it, which didn't come out too straight, but again, I don't think anyone is going to notice that. Um, I'll put the leaves on it. Actually, I have one here that already has the leaves on it, so I'll just go ahead and punch a hole. You can see I did make a little hole with my... Uh, pokey tool over there but it's not big enough so this is the hard part just getting to the center which is a lot easier before you put any leaves or anything on it so let's go with this one I just have to try to get to the middle Ah, my tool is stuck. That's because all this stuff was jammed up in there. So now we have a hole there. Let's staple our ribbons together. So like that. Let's snip a little hole in the back.
Let's see. Let it go through. Okay, we have our staple in and we have our little hole right below somewhere. It's there. And see it? Right there. Okay, so I picked out this brad here. Already has a little flower design in the middle. So we're going to just put it through our flower. Put it through our hole. And we're going to bend our little prongs down like that. So let me straighten it out a little bit. You know, I think, <laughs> yeah, it goes like that. Okay, that's good enough. So I have my glue gun heating up over here. And I'm looking for this. So someone suggested that when I'm hot gluing, I should be doing it on a silicone mat that doesn't stick. So that's what I have here because it's the only one I have. And these are the ones you use to make wax seals. But I did order one and it is on the way. So on the back of here... We're just going to put some glue on there a little bit. And I'm going to put this over here, whoops, to dry. And this is the one that we just made. And we're going to hot glue this one too. So here are some I made earlier before you got here, and that's what those look like. Oop. And let's see, there's a couple more over here. As I wanted to kind of work out the kinks before you guys got here. And this one. That's what I mean. You have to make sure they're going the right way. This has two little birds kissing in it. Isn't it cute? So if anybody has any suggestions for making the flowers, like as in um, curling up the leaves, if you're supposed to or not supposed to, um, let me know in the comments because that was my first time. Okay, here's our one with the butterfly brad. Oop, that's not dry yet. And here's our one with the flower. I'm going to put it on here so I don't ruin this paper. How about that? So this one just needs some leaves and it's all done. And these are all done. So I'm going to keep going here. Um, thank you, BB Craft. Uh, you get a hundred of these brads for four dollars and thirty-one cents. I think that's a really good price, and use my discount if you want to. If I already said that, I'm sorry. I'm repeating myself. <laughs> I just asked my son-in-law why he was working today. I said, "You don't work on Saturdays usually." He said, uh, "Ma, it's Friday." <laughs> so. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time with something new.